I got into a lot of trouble with my wife because I was having these little mini strokes. Tell me a mini stroke is when you have a short period where you either can't talk right or you can't see good. It doesn't last long. I knew what they were and I, like so many other people, you overlook them or think you've got it licked. And I knew at the time that it was happening because my heartbeat was irregular. I couldn't walk the dog. I, uh, I couldn't walk to my usual 237 yard drive either. <laughs> I could get to the 50 yard pitching wedge. So it really does affect you. The, uh, if your distributor isn't working, your heart's not pumping the way it should and you don't have the energy. The new treatment that's coming out, which is making uh, great strides, is the use of ablation where a, a catheter is placed, uh, or a wire is placed in the groin, threaded up to the heart and uh, areas where this rhythm is uh, coming from can be uh, uh, sort of zapped or, uh, or ablated with uh, radio frequency ablation and it can sometimes be curative in the management of these rhythms. One doc told me that it was sort of like having the distributor go on my tractor. If the distributor isn't working, you still might get the engine working a little bit but not working well. So what those docs did is they went in and they they just they cut a couple of wires that were buggering up the distributor. And that cutting is what they call ablation. With respect to the atrial fibrillation, again, we have many patients. They uh, are frequently come into hospital. They require a lot of drugs and a lot of close monitoring. If these patients could be treated, then their quality of their life would be much better. They wouldn't have all the symptoms of atrial fibrillation. They wouldn't be on a... On a bag full, a paper bag full of uh, different drugs to control their problem. And uh, so I think it, uh, these treatments make the patients better, save lives and are cost effective in the long run. The multitudes of people that are have severe lifestyle changes um, from electrical disturbances that can be treated and will be treated and their lives will be greatly changed by this by this lab coming um, will pay benefits for decades to come and it's it's not only the patients that are benefiting from it but also the family members and those people that they're dealing with um, because those those people who have these issues their lives are greatly greatly affected by these problems yeah you get up in the morning and you jump out of bed and you do what you think you should do you think nothing of walking down up and down the stairs if you have stairs in your house where otherwise you do. Uh, before I had this done, I'd walk upstairs and sit down in a chair for five minutes. Now you don't do that. The benefit having an electrophysiology lab in the southern part of the province will mean a significant improvement in patient care for the patients of southern Saskatchewan. It is the last part of our cardiac program that is missing. With this technology, it allows us to learn more about the patient's heart, provide the best possible care that we have. We're extremely proud of the program that we have here in the Regina Capel Health Region. And this is really the icing on the cake. It's the final niche in the wheel that we need to make sure that our, com our program is complete and that our program is what the patients of Southern Saskatchewan deserve. Music